I'm gonna come here every day. <laughs> come here, I want you to go with me up here. Today I'm going to work with my dad. You getting all ready? So what happened to your hair, buddy? It's looking a little different up here. I cut it. In. Yeah, you did, huh? What happened to your hair? Did mom blow dry your hair? You have a good day at work. Okay. You work really hard, okay? Okay. We'll miss you. Okay. What are we doing, Cub? Going up to going up to the elevator. Do you like elevators? Yeah. They're so cool. Okay, so we're here in the office and Caleb is going to reveal what he brought in his bag. Alright, what'd you bring to work? It's for shoes. What are those for? Um... Just in case we got to run to court? Yeah. Alright, what else do you got in there? Yes! <laughs> you never know if you're going to have an accident <laughs> at work. Never know. Stress ball. Relief. Perfect. That one's from Halloween. Is that a magazine? Yeah. Scriptures. You brought your phone too? Yeah. Gotta have a phone. Okay. Here All right. Well, let's get into the office and do some work. I'm gonna go up and say, say hi to George. You're gonna say hi to George? Yeah. George. Is that our tree? Yeah. We've had George for a long time, huh? Yeah, are you gonna help me water him today? Yeah. Good. He was thirsty. Yeah. Okay, Cub, we gotta head home for lunch. I'm gonna come here every day. You wanna come every day? Why did you like it so much? Because I really got my own phone in here. And I'm gonna do it every day. All right, say bye to April. Bye. Bye. Are you going to lunch? Neck and hug him tight like this. Mommy. Mommy. Daddy cheeks and give him what? Mommy. One big kiss. I missed you. What, what is that? that? It's um a special phone, and you talk from this. Whoa. It's a dictaphone. That is not for playing. This is the second day. Second day in a row. So the kids just washed their hands and the door was left open and I came around the corner to look for her and of course she was standing right here washing her hands in what was luckily clean toilet water. But look, she like washed her whole face in it. She's like all wet. What were you doing? Her little shoulder shrug. Okay, the toilet is not for playing in, okay? Let's clean you off. Okay, we use clean water in the sink, okay? Okay. Kendra has come up with a very motivating system here for Isaac. Isaac's excited about it. So he has to do some writing and he doesn't exactly love writing and so I gave him, his assignment is to write five sentences about one of the books he read and then I've got five points here and he gets a chocolate chip for each one that he does correctly. So he gets a chocolate chip for good handwriting, a chocolate chip for good attitude, a chocolate chip for capital letters, a chocolate chip for periods at the end of sentences, and a chocolate chip for good content. So he has a possible five chocolate chips that he can get out of this assignment. It better be good. <laughs> so far the handwriting is looking good. Why is America struggling with obesity? That coming up next in the blog. <laughs> So we've had like two days of just cloudiness and constant rain and like some decent sized thunderstorms and the sun came out like just now, like we're finishing up our lunch and I looked outside and I'm like, what is that? And there it is. There's the sun. Oh, it's just beautiful actually. I'm like really squinting, but it was so nice after storms and after days of rain, Elise in her morning prayer today said, you know, and we're grateful for the rain, but we pray we can see the sun soon. And so I'm just happy. It's still cold out, so I'm gonna go inside, but. Yay, son. All right, so today has been laundry day. I think we're on our fourth load of laundry. And Elise has been entertaining me by folding and speaking Spanish. Lisey, can we hear your Spanish? Is that your Spanish? We're looking for a bed. Okay. 
So, looks like we have a couple of them. We do, we have quite a bit. Um, we're looking for a twin bed. Okay, perfect for and who? It will be, this guy is moving up to a big boy bed. Hey Cubby, you climb up and see what you think of a big, big boy bed. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> he loves it. Face plant. Watch out. Laura was <laughs> feeling left out. What do you guys think? Should we take that one? Let's yeah. get one big one. Yeah, we'll just put you all on that one. Yeah, it's for sure big enough for all of us. Not for now. <laughs> Never mind. So it turns out that my favorite mattress was the $8,000 one. I guess seven. $1,999. Apparently it has the thickest and most dense foam. I kind of have a big butt and so the butt just like sinks in perfectly into the mattress. It's really amazing. Whoa. Can we get it? See your bum sinks. That is pretty your comfortable. Bum. Usually I don't like ones that are like too cushy, uh -huh. but this one's like a firm cushy. Yeah. No, no, no. Come here. Come here, I want you to hold me up here. I'm coming up here. No. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? It's a bed. What do you think of the bed? Should we bed. get it? Good. So many beds, so many different styles. Jeremy and I are different about what we prefer. He loves the cushy beds, and I like things that are a little bit more firm. So it's always interesting coming here and seeing, you know, which style we like. But my question for you guys today is, how about you guys? Do you like a nice firm bed or a nice cushy one? What's your preference? They also have all different styles of pillows. Like, I've always just had, like, a cheap, skinny pillow, but there's some good options out there. So do you have a preference on pillows, too? It feels really cold. It does feel cold. So apparently this is a gel pillow, but it's like cool. Can like I Like cool try? to the touch. Yeah, you try. I left my entire purse at the mattress firm. I left my wallet, my phone, my keys, everything. So anyway, grateful for honest people when I called. She's like, yeah, it's right here. And so Those cushy anyway. mattresses put you into a daze. Apparently I'm losing my mind. All right guys, for dinner tonight, we've got some Parmesan toast toasting and I am making lasagna soup, which is one of my absolute favorite soups. We haven't had it for a while, so I was really excited. I did make a double batch, so half's in the freezer for another day. And anyway, one of my favorite things about this soup is that it has this cheese tortellini noodles in it and literally handfuls of fresh spinach. So it's, anyway, it's got carrots and mushrooms and I don't even remember what else is in here, but lots of good stuff. And then you top it with cheese. It does taste a little bit like lasagna in a soup form. There's the lasagna soup. What do you think, Laura? Soup. Soup? Is it good? I love the uh, healthy portion of cheese that's added. Maybe healthy is the wrong word. <laughs> healthy is the wrong. the abundant hearty, hearty, the hearty portion of cheese. Yeah. So here's what it looks like all done up. Cubby, are you hungry? right before dinner started he comes from he's like mom please can i eat something and i'm like buddy it's almost done he's like just give me a handful of lettuce i'm like whoa okay. <laughs> that child is serious <laughs> all right who wants to j house out it me uh you j house out very nice hello my name is anna Sage richardson i'm from birmingham alabama and i'm thankful for being a healthy happy little girl and being on j house vlogs j house out Pretty good. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh.